Hey welcome back everyone. In the last video we watched some pros pour a concrete pad and I had some fun installing a shed from Stratco. Let's pick up where we left off. So the gutters were one of the harder parts, or at least I found it difficult. This bit kind of slides up underneath the roofing sheets, meaning all the water off the roof will just drip into the tray. Then you get these weird coloured end caps that are meant to be riveted on. The instructions weren't all that clear on how they were supposed to fit, so I just got creative and made it fit as best I could. With the end caps done, I can now screw through the roof sheets and gutter into the frame of the shed. Ok, now let's add an off grid system. I went to this place in Perth called Alttech and purchased a complete solar system for around $700. Wow, that's pretty cheap I hear you say. Well, most of the items were second hand but still tested in great condition, so I was able to save some money. So some of these items are new, but for things like controllers it's good for peace of mind to buy brand new. I've got an EP EVA 20 amp MPPT charge controller some Thomson DC circuit breakers, a Modbus to Wi-Fi converter, which will probably be a topic for another video, I've got two Bosch 38 amp hour batteries, and I've got nice screw terminals, and I've also got a link bar for connecting those two batteries in series. And then I have a bunch of mounting bracketry for the solar panels and some cabling. To mount these to the shed I need some aluminium extruded solar rail which Alttech sold me for 4 bucks a meter, absolute score. And the solar panels I've got are 250 watts each and I'm planning on running these in parallel, but more on that later. Let me show you how I mounted them up. Alright, so I cut this one in half, it's the same length as that one before, cut this one in half, cut some of the feet, just sort of looking for the central point, so there's the outside two spaces, outside two spaces. And uh, the feet, I'm going to try and line up with these holes here. So, take these little ones out. And uh, I'll put some longer ones through the feet that goes into the pole. And there's some rubber insulator here, but I might silicon around as well. And then I can adjust the height and get the rail flat and uh, yeah, tie it off. solar panel will go on there, end caps that way. I was pretty happy with how strong the bottom rail is, seeing as it's screwed straight into the frame, but the top rail has nothing but the roof sheet to screw into. It's a little too flimsy and I don't want it tearing off in the wind. So instead, I bolted it down with a big mudguard washer to disperse the clamping area. Once this was cranked up tight, there's no way it's coming off. Yes, that's the one. Now the solar panel has a positive and negative cable that has to enter the building in some way. I got these roof entry kits from JCAR for about 15 bucks each. I can lift the solar panel up now and I've just sat it on the rails while I installed the entry point. To prep the entry, I've drilled some holes in the corners so that I can use the roofing screws to fix it down. I've also put a bead of silicon around it to stop any water from entering the shed. I did the exact same for the other side of the roof, with the only real challenge being I had to work out of my brother's backyard. So attach the rails and tighten them down with bolts, set up and install the entry point, being careful to silicon all the potential leak points, cut out the small piece of roofing below the gland so the cables can come out, and then fix down the solar panel using the rail clamps. Real. 
Next job, I went to Bunnings and bought some 12mm MDF sheets so I could line the inside walls. I spent a bit of time measuring and marking out each piece and used a circular saw to make the cuts. This is way harder than it looks. I can probably go up a little bit more. I pre-drilled each hole with a countersink bit and then screwed the boards onto the inside frame of the shed. Well, it's not great, but the good thing is now I can screw wherever I want on the wall. And uh, yeah, I wanted to make any holes. What sounds are you making? What are you eating? Okay, let's get into wiring the solar panels up. Basically, we have our two solar panels and they are connected in parallel. Then those are wired into the solar controller. The two batteries are connected in series and wired into the controller too. And then as my load, I have two LED light bars. For added safety, we're going to put 20 amp DC circuit breakers in. These are great for isolation and testing. Let's do a little montage of wiring and I'll show you how it turned out at the end. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too rushed, let's take a look at what I've done. The batteries are pretty heavy, so they're just sitting down on the ground. All the cabling is routed inside flexible conduit that connects to junction boxes for any breakouts. And I've installed the two light bars and the apexes and they provide great lighting coverage. And there's just a little close up on the batteries, you can see the little link bar used to connect them in series. Next up, we have all the space, so let's add some storage. I went to Bunnings and bought this heavy duty metal shelf that has four adjustable shelves. This will help declutter the garage. I've just got way too much stuff in there and there's no space for parking the cars. And I also got this small workbench to go inside the door, which will make a good station for gardening work. And the last addition for now is this collapsible clothesline. Now you can see why we try to push the shed as far back on the pad as we could. And that basically covers the shed build. I would like to set up remote monitoring of the solar system so I can log some historical data. And I also have plans to hook it all into my home automation setup. So the next video on the shed will cover those aspects. Some eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that the guttering is incomplete. And that's because I'd like to try my hand at some rainwater harvesting. So definitely subscribe if you want to see some progress on that soon. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this backyard upgrade. I'll catch you guys soon.